Hello everybody. ETABS versus SAP 2000. For the engineers, they, a lot of confusion is there, a lot of misunderstanding is there. That which one I should be learning for my career growth. SAP 2000, whatever is happening in ETABS, it can be done, done it in SAP 2000. So why not to learn that tool only? Why to learn ETABS also, SAP 2000 also and all actually, because both are very big softwares. So, to remove these conceptions, please watch this video till the end. Let's get started. So, these are the two different softwares. On the left hand side of yours, it is ETABS, and on the right hand side of yours, it is SAP 2000. So, if you see both the softwares look alike, why not alike? Because they are the product of the same company. But there is a huge difference. The first difference is uh, this ETABS, if you see that from technical point of view, I'm just trying to explain you. There are only and only few different objects are there. One is the line element. Over here you can see that there is a line element. There is an area element. And that's it. There is no brick element. Whereas if you go here in the SAP 2000, you go here, there is a line element, there is an area element, and there is a solid element. Understood? So this is a big difference. There is one more type of element in this that you can easily figure it out. It is known as the cable section or the cable element. Generally, this is required for the cable state bridges or or transmission towers and all. So basically, ETABS is tailor-made software when it comes to the building sector. Please understand this carefully. Buildings means residential buildings, commercial buildings, or even infrastructure buildings. When it in infrastructure, also there are certain buildings like warehouses and all. So when it comes to the building, whether it is hospital, hotel, flat slab structure, high-rise building, low-rise building, mid-rise building underground structures, when it comes to the building, this is when one of the very important software for you. But when it comes to the infrastructure, like the one that you are watching here is the dam. It's a small uh, section, one of the section of a dam structure. So if you want to deal with that, you will see that, you know, you, you cannot deal with this particular big project in the ETABs. You require SAP 2000. So is it a small or big? Burj Khalifa is not a small building, but it can be done it in ETABS. I'm telling you in terms of the certain different type of complexity. What is complexity means? Let's say over here, there are ideally only two objects up there. If you call the third object as a point uh, object, I don't call it as object, but some people, they call it as. So, uh, Element wise, there is there are only few types of element. One is point element, second one is line element, and the third one is area element. In this one, two, three, those are there. Fourth type of element is solid element. The so solid element is exactly like this. So what is the difference between the area element and the solid elements? So let's zoom in and check by ourselves. What is this? The moment if you zoom in and if you select any particular element, you will see that there is a box. Another thing is if you go to the display and uh, if you want to see certain stresses and forces and all actually, just go to the solids, you will see that there is S11, S22, S33, S13, uh, S23, S13 and S23. So, all the different types of stress components are there. Now, what is S11, S22, S1? I mean, I'm getting confused. What is this? So, S stands for the stress. And there is one and there is one. One is the force acting in this direction. Force, the second one is the action. S11. So, force is there in this direction and the action is also there in the same direction. So, it is basically the stress. In, I'll just take the paper here. 
to and make you understand. So let's say, for example, this is the paper. If I'm just trying to take this. This is a ten, tensile stress in this direction. And same way, S11, and same way it is there in the other direction, like this. This is S11, this is S22. So like that, the stresses are there. But when where it is S13, S23, S33, so stress 3, 3 is always like a drilling. So let's say for example, if this is a box and you would you are punching it like a punching machine or maybe a column is putting a lot of load on this. So this is S3 and the stress is also there. Uh, I mean the force and the displacements. More, both, both the things are there in that particular direction only. It's not just the force and the displacement, it is the, the stress in that particular plane, uh, technically. That's how I, actually it has been calculated or computed. Now what is it actually? There is, if you see that here, there is S13. So it is basically, you are going to cut, imagine that there is a cake here and you are cutting it here like this. So this is three direction and this one is one direction. This is two direction. So S23. S13. So this is how <laughs> you know the stress components are getting calculated, and uh, um, you know that that is required. This kind of thing in the dam, the wall is so big, so you require S33 component also. But in buildings, it need not be. Why? Because in this particular software, there is something called as the thick element. So if you just click any of the, let's say this one, and there is a thin shell element here, and you will see the thick shell element also. I have to unlock the model for that. I'll just do that. So I'll just unlock it. So you can see that the all the uh, results are gone. Now you go here, and from here there is a thick shell element. So thin shell, thick shell, both the things are there. So thick, thick shell is basically the mathematical interpolation related to the, from the thin plane uh, or uh, shell thin to the thickness by, by interpolating, uh, interpolating, uh, extrapolating. It is basically the mathematics that if it is for plane, it is like this, then for thick element, how it is. But the... That is mathematics, but when it comes to the solid elements, it cannot be just that for 2D element it is like this, for 3D how it will be. No, the realistic stresses, you can see that there are so many different types, actually the forces and all actually are coming. So based on the contour, the, uh, the realistic contours are getting created or formulated, not the fictitious forces or not just the mathematics. But in case of E tabs, it is not there. So this is the first change that you will have the solid elements extra, which is there in the SAP 2000. Also, you will have the cable uh, element extra. Another very big advantage is like in the E tabs, you are having just two types of functions. One is response spectrum and the time history. Whereas in the SAP 2000, if you go here, you will have, you will not only have the response spectrum and time history, you will have the power spectral density and a steady state method of analysis, um, which is basically, you know, the higher versions of the dynamic analysis. Uh, power spectrum density and the steady state is like when the earthquake comes, the building will have a initially the shocking wave. Later on, it will be sinusoidal, means the wave is going and you are also saying, yeah, yes, yes. yes. Uh, in Hindi, what we call it as Nandi Bail Rehta, na? Say, ha, ha, ha. Yes, 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 yes. So when the shocking wave is coming, earthquake uh, wave is coming, the way that the wave is coming, the building is started vibrating in that direction. So, okay. so steady state and power spectrum density, the power of that, because if the frequency or certain things are matching, it will create a havoc, what we call it as the resonance and all. So these two types are related to that type of analysis, which will you will not be do, able to do it in the ETAS, which is response spectrum method and the time history function method. Okay, so these two are the major difference. There are so many other minor differences are there, but major differences are these ones.
One more thing I wanted to tell you that the big difference is when it, this is a generic software. Can you do the design and um, modeling analysis design in SAP 2000 about the buildings? Yes, you can do that. Just go here, have a new model. Just say no. I mean, I just wanted to create it. Now here there is a frame structures and you can start creating the, the building also in, in SAP 2000. Then why to go for ETABS? But ETABS is a, is a custom tailor-made software, guys. And a lot of functionality is there. Floor to floor, things are there. Uh, similar story, all story functions. Uh, story drift related things are there. But whereas SAP 2000, there is no story. For five story, six story, seven story buildings. And there is no concept like that. So generic software, it has got its own limitation. It becomes a little cumbersome when it comes to the buildings. Uh, whereas ETABS, it is tailor-made software for the building, so it becomes very easy maneuvering and operations and all actually. So that's why ETABS is, uh, you know, more preferred when it comes to the building. One more thing I wanted to tell you that SAP 2000 is little sensitive. If one click also, because there are so many functions are there. If certain one or two functions only if you're given incorrect, it will just say, you know, these are the results. Uh, don't ask me where it is going wrong. It becomes very difficult for any user, structural engineer, to, to catch up this kind of problems. Uh, that's why I would prefer ETABS over to the SAP 2000. But when it comes to the infrastructure structures, then you absolutely cannot deal with this particular software. Uh, you have to go to the SAP 2000. So what kind of tools uh, or what kind of things are there in this? So let's say there is a storage tanks for example so you know the pwd cpwd water tanks are there and all so infrastructure project, underground water tank overhead water tank um, you take the example of transmission towers and all so you have to deal with sap 2000 guys there okay i hope uh, this information would have given you certain um, good insight related to the structures if you really liked it please give a thumbs up if you really loved it subscribe to the channel Bye-bye.